day everyone this is Jessa from Tudlo Innovation Solutions Incorporated now as for today's demo I'm gonna be showing you guys Tudlo's um, enterprise resource planning system now we're gonna go log in and then click log in and then this is what it looks like in our um, ERP system. Now, as you can see, this is your dashboard. We have here a graph bar for salaries. We have departments, total departments. We have employees, we have holidays and present employees. Now, we can also manage application for leaves and we can also manage our employees in here. Just click this one out. And we also have a little calendar when wherein we will be able to see if there has been a noted event for um, the specific day. Now, that's for our dashboard. And then we have your HR management tab. You will see here, view employees, add new employees, departments, designation, shifts, and payroll system, wherein we will be able to create new salary. Now, we can view employees in here. You will see all the employee information. We have their name, their email, and their department. And then since we're done with the viewing employees, we also have here add new employee. So this is all the fields that we are required to answer. So we're going to start with from, from first name to last name and then everything to follow. So that's for adding new employees. We also have here departments. We will be able to see all the departments in our company so we have hr departments account employee manager production department administrative department operation department branding department and technical department so we basically this is all the summary of the departments that we have in our company we also have here designation so this is what it looks like so for after designation we also have ships so we have daytime shifts and we have evening so we have here the timing from 9 a.m to 6 p.m that's for the day shift and evening will be 7 p.m to 3 a.m so that's for our shifts we also have payroll system so we're going to try and create new salary this is what it looks like so we have salary filter we will be able to filter the day and the month and the year we also have your departments so let's say so that's where we will be able to create salary for our or for, for any specific departments or any specific employees now we also have your crm so basically this to our um, human resource management and we also have here crm we can view customers so this is what it looks like so we have here the customers information uh first and last name the company uh phone number and then the email we also have here add new customer these are the fields for adding a new customer and we have view vendors so this is what it looks like we also have add new vendor we also have transactions so we have transactions for new sale this is wherein we will be able to create a new sale. Then sales records. This is what it looks like. So we have here invoice 0014, customer Arvin de Leon, invoice date, due date, and then total amount. And the status is still unpaid. Now, we are also capable of filtering all of the customers in here or just by entering invoice number. And we can select status as partial paid or unpaid or paid so that's for transactions and then we also have your new purchase so this is the fields that we are required to answer we also have purchase record this is what it looks like so we have voucher number the vendor's name the date and then the due date and the total amount and the status as well now we also have your expense record 
this is what it looks like so expense number 0002 and then the date the details and the total or the amount so we also have here internal transfer record and guys note we are also capable of adding a new internal transfer and a new expense that's for transactions we also have here requests we can manage our loan and leave requests in here so let's see this is what it looks like in our loan request so this is john doe under john doe um loan applied amount this is seven thousand four hundred withdrawn amount not yet deposit amount not yet and balance amount is zero so this is what it looks like in our loan request now we also have your leave request now as for now we don't have anything since no employees has um requested for a leave now we also have your announcement board so we can check notice board so we have date here the title we are also capable of adding new ones so this is what it looks like upon creating a new notice board we also have your official holidays we can add a new holiday so as as you can see we have uh december 13 uh title will be meeting so that's considered as an official holiday we also can fi uh can manage our finance in here so this is a finance dashboard so monthly income monthly expenses and then we have total receivable and then total payable so you you can see or you can manage all of your sales and purchase in here we have a bar graph you can see that per month and the growth of per month we also have your invoices we have unpaid so total of nine and then partial paid and paid that's for zero so we have recent invoices and then latest income so that's how you manage or that's what you see in a finance dashboard we have also charts of accounts so this is what it looks like we have customers invoices chart of account we have the code the name the type the opening the balance and then the actions that's what we see in our chart of accounts we can also manage our account type in here so as you can see this is what it looks like and basic note this can also be editable now since we're done with manage account we also have bank and cash so we have here bank information so our code our bank account and then the amount we also have here trial balance this is what it looks like we have here the account code the account name op debit op credit transfer debit transfer credit closing debit and closing credit so that's what it took and note guys this is printable and downloadable as well so we also have here reports we have the attendance reports from all the employees so we just have to select any department in here and then we can also manage everyone's attendance just select a department and select a specific employee and then filtering the dates we also have your sales report we have three tabs for sales report we have sales report sales transaction report and sales balance report we have purchase report transaction report and balance report and then expenses report account statement report and employees ledger now we're going to check this one out chat transaction we're going to start this is what it looks like sales balance report so you can filter any invoice that you want and then select a specific customer now we also have here purchase report we have purchase transaction report just select any vendor and then filter uh, you can put in um the voucher number now we have expenses report just check this one out and then select amount we can select any account in here advertising account or bank service charges this is the reports of our expenses and then we can also account see our account statement in here we can select any account that we want and then we have employees ledger so this is what it looks like we can just select any employees that we want so that's for report and we have general settings this are this part uh, we can 
actually change anything in here to look the, the name of the company and TN number, email, website, and mobile phone number. And we can also manage role, manage user, and email templates. Now that's how our ERP system looks like. And again, this is just from Tudlo Innovation Solutions Incorporated. And have a wonderful day.